Hello everybody, Agricartel here and welcome back to Low Tier Trading, the series where I teach you tips and tricks about low tier trading for profit. The reason I have created this series is because most of the trading channels I have seen on YouTube almost exclusively cover unusual trading. While it is true that unusual trading will net you greater profits over a shorter period of time, it is possible to see that same profit with some lower tier trading, with enough patience and knowledge of market trends. If you are just tuning in, I highly recommend watching episode 2 first, which I will link in the description. Today, I will be discussing hats, including craft hats and cosmetics from cases. The first category of cosmetics we will be covering is craft hats. You may be wondering, what are craft hats? Well, craft hats are cosmetics that can be crafted through the in-game crafting menu. Over on the rare tab, there is an option called fabricate headwear which takes in three refined and outputs a craft hat. The current list of cosmetic items that can be crafted is a pretty long one, so the link to the wiki page on that will be in the description below. Anyway, here's the list of the all-class cosmetic items that can be crafted. Hey everybody, Future Agric here. So I was going to make a cool edit with all the craft hats as the Smash roster, but it would have made the video way too long, so I'll make that its own video. Anyway, here's the list from the wiki. All those pretty hats are nice, but what we're really here for is, how can we profit off these? First, we must take into consideration that each craft hat costs us 3 rep, since that was used in creating the hat. Great, all you have to do is sell it above 3 rep and we're in the green. Well, it's not that easy. A quick search over to backpack.tf shows us that most craft hats can't even sell above 3 rep. Of course, there are exceptions to this. Quite a few of the all-class craft hats sell above 3 ref. The only problem is, it's a gamble whether you get a good or bad craft. So technically, it is possible to profit from crafting hats, but we are better off buying hats that have already been crafted and selling those. Even though crafting hats from ref doesn't yield profit too often, there is another crafting option we can use. In the crafting menu, there's an option to rebuild headgear, which takes two hats and crafts a new random hat out of those. On Marketplace.tf and Scrap.tf, you can buy craft hats for 7 cents, or 1.33 ref. This means we can effectively craft a hat for 2.66 ref, saving us one reclaimed. This increases the chance of profit, or at least breaking even, since we took two hats crafted from a total of 6 ref and bought them for 2.66 ref. Since the craft hats don't change for the method of crafting, it is still the same chance of getting a good hat, but this means we can keep trying for that team captain even longer. One last note about crafting. When we craft hats, we are effectively destroying refined metal and improving the economy, but I will go in further detail about this in a later episode. Let's talk about the other way cosmetics can be found. Cases. Cases are tool items, which are found through random drops. Each case is locked to begin with, and requires its specific key for it to open. For example, a Manco Supply Crate requires a Manco Supply Crate key, and a Winter 2018 case requires a Winter 2018 key. In the modern cases, each item has a specific grade that references its rarity, ranging from Mercenary to Elite Grade. The starting grade varies between cases, but for cosmetic cases, it starts with Mercenary Grade. As the grade goes up the list, the unbox rate decreases, and thus the value of it increases. Mercenary Grade has an 80% chance to be unboxed, followed by Commando Grade with a 15% chance. Next comes Assassin Grade with a chance of 4%, and finally Elite Grade with a 1% chance. These values are generously rounded for the sake of readability. The only problem with unboxing is most cosmetics unboxed are not profitable. Now you have learned the basics to cosmetics, let's put this knowledge to work. There are multiple ways to craft hats using the in-game crafting menu, but the way that can theoretically yield more profit is using the rebuild headgear option and buying the craft hats from scrap.tf or marketplace.tf. The new generation of cases can offer a lot of profit, but for a large risk of over a key. As always, patience is key. Everything in trading takes time, 
Rushing through pricing and trading never has a beneficial outcome. Most importantly, don't be afraid to ask your fellow traders for help. You're not alone in this. So, to sum all of this up, crafting and unboxing can add a lot of profit, but are dependent on RNG and statistics. We have learned how to craft hats efficiently and the inner workings of cases. You may ask, what happens now? Well, there are a few options. You can either pocket the profit and buy something nice with it, or you can invest the profit into more stock and keep trading. Whatever you choose, you can rest easy knowing that you made money with TF2. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel anything I said was incorrect, then please leave a comment letting me know of my mistake. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more in the series, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe to see more awesome TF2 content.